I really should be packing up for my gig tonight, but I really enjoy making these videos, so uh, I'm going to do one now. This is a lick I think that would be fun to practice. I'm going to do it down here, first of all. minor pentatonic uh, pattern or scale. It's like uh, G, E, D, B are the first four notes. That's G, E, D, B. Then we're going to drop the highest note and add one note lower in the scale. So that second phrase would be E, D, B, A. So put them together, you got. That's not a bad start. And the next one, each time we're going to drop one high note and add a lower note. So I better start from the top. And this is going to be D, B, A, G. G, E, D, B. You might want to write that down. G E D B E D B A D B A G Then we got B A G E Then we're going to go A G E D Next is G, E, D, B. G, that was G, E, D, B. Then it's a E, D, B, A. D, B, A, G. D, B, A, G. I can't believe I'm getting them all right. And then we got B, A, G, E. B, A, G, E. Any of these, if you can just do one of them, is cool. If you can do two, that's great. If you can do three, if you can do the whole pattern, that's great. You should be able to figure this out and put it together yourself. Well, I missed one. And uh, oh, I was looking for my metronome. Where'd he go? Oh, I probably put it somewhere. Well, never mind. You get the idea. Turn on the metronome. One and two and three and four. And if you take it up an octave. Um, there I was. One thing you'll notice is you're hitting all the 12th fret notes. Just like all the open strings. That's why this key is awesome. You got your open strings. Or 12 fret notes. You can always put a chord in there. E minor, G, D, A, C, G, D, B. So yeah, up an octave is gonna be 15s and 12s. Some 14s in there too.
notice you really don't need a lot of distortion to practice, you know? Pick a note. So if you make a mistake, sometimes you can turn that into something new and cool. Or disguise it by like, ha ha, I meant to do that. So once you get that pattern down, you can do more exercises. It gets more exciting. It's just a good basic uh, thing to practice. I'll do it one more time. I wish I was playing this guitar tonight. 59 Les Paul Jr. Worn out frets, original P90, replaced bridge, original tuning pegs. I toy with selling this, but you know, nice thing about an old guitar, it's already beat up a little bit, you can play it. Usually the necks are warped, frets are worn out, electronics are shorting out, all that. That's normal. For me to play a brand new, shiny, beautiful guitar is kind of intimidating. I like them beat up a little bit. Then if I stumble and uh, ding it up a little bit, I don't feel terrible. But I try to not to do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's it. So work on that lick. I think it's pretty cool. If you need a tab, I can write it out and send it to you. Let me know. But otherwise, please subscribe and just rock out.